Nigeria's former president, Dr. Goodluck Abele Jonathan, wants the judiciary to be more objective and shun corruption for better justice delivery in Nigeria. The former president was speaking during the inauguration of Delta State High Court Complex in Asaba, the state capital. Our Asaba correspondent, Akpomajero Friday, reports that Dr. Goodluck Abele Jonathan urged the Delta State Governor, Sheriff Oborowiri, to continue to work on projects created by the previous administrations and build new ones in the interest of Deltans. The former president commended the governor for completing the project which began in 1991, noting the importance of providing the judiciary a conducive working environment. Properly conducted, that 50% will not go to court. The next 50% that go to court is that they know they fail the election. But they feel they can use the judiciary to declare them the winners. So if the judiciary don't declare who don't win election that they are winners, that many 50% who will not go to court. In, in South Africa, the electoral management body will never compromise. And they all know. So if you lose election, you, you just wait for the next election. You don't need to go to court. And because if you go to court, the judiciary too will not compromise. So you don't get anything. So over the period, nobody goes to court when they go to election. And Nigeria, I believe, will get there one day. So the, so the judiciary, let me use the opportunity to, the CJN is here, the CJN just of the Delta State is here. You must help people like us and uh, Ned, who are the politicians. <laughs> Be very strong and do the right thing so that this abundance of litigations after election will stop in this country. Governor of Burowiri, who completed the building of the High Court with six courtrooms, six holding cells, and other facilities, also presented 20 SUVs to the judiciary in the state. In line with my promise to complete all ongoing projects inherited from the Middle Pass administration, I took this project as one of my priorities. Of a truth, that out of the three arms of government, only the judiciary was lacking a befitting building complex. This motivated me to hasten the completion of this project. I am glad that today the narrative has changed for good. The cause of justice will now be better served for the greater good of all. As a government, we have taken steps to further ensure that our judges and associated staff not only really operate in a conducive and enabling environment, but as also provided with the necessary tools that complement the functionality and prestige of their offices. In line with our more agenda to boost labor for productivity, this facility is provided with a 35, 350 kVA generator and 150 kVA generator, generator. And it's also connected to the Asaba independent power plant to allow for uninterrupted power supply to the building. From this date, the chief judge and one other judge sit in these two courts while other judges sit at various locations in the state capital. For almost 20 years after the creation of Delta State, all crucial departments in the headquarters operated at great cost to the government from different locations and far away from the leadership. While the High Court of Justice was going through this phase, two new modern State Secretariat buildings and a new Delta State House of Assembly complex have been built, commissioned, and put to use. I must confess that at that stage, the judiciary felt like an offer. The dream of every successive chief judge since the creation of Delta State is to have a befitting headquarter which can accommodate all judges and support staff in one place. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.